Welcome to another exciting lesson to just learn from God and to just really learn, you know. This is a his Sunday. We are, we are going to make things a little bit different. But before that, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful, God, to be in your presence. We are grateful to learn from you. We are grateful for this chance to just hear from you. We pray that you speak into our lives through the various uh, ways that you want to speak, O oh God, the things that you want us to learn, O oh God, make it, be, make it very apparent and very clear for us. In Jesus' name we prayed, amen. So guys, today we are going to have a lesson on attitude. Attitude. So what do you hear or what do you understand when you hear the word attitude, kindly put it down on the comment section. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, I can see you. Put it on the comment section. What is attitude? I'll wait. <laughs> okay. So, 
attitude is basically our outlook on things in life. Did you get that? Attitude is our outlook on things or how we perceive things in life. So today I'm going to share my story as Janet. Oh, did I say my name? Oh, okay, sorry. My name is Janet JB Chipchirchir Cherop. Uh, commonly known as Chiri. I serve here on the worship team and you've seen me on the lesson on the lessons of on the teens lessons a couple of times. So Chiri, Chiri's story on attitude. So a story goes when I was in in high school. I was in high school and there's a subject that I used to hate. I used to hate that subject with my own. You know, initially when we were told uh, in high school to just pick subjects, we were told to pick um, the kind of subjects that you want to, you know, to do. In high school, they offer that. You are told to pick subjects that you want to, to do. So for me, I picked, I picked music. I picked agriculture. I picked... Um, I picked music and I picked agriculture. Those are the subjects and history and history. Our sciences were compulsory and that's physics, chemistry, biology. Those were compulsory. But now the, the, the options were you pick between home science, French, agriculture, uh, music, arts. So for me, I picked music and agriculture. Now, Music, I got to form two, and my, my, my parent was, they asked me why, why, why I, they, they, my parent advised me to change my, my, my subjects allocation to agriculture. Like, instead of going ahead to form three with music, my parent told me to do agriculture. Now for me, I cried, I cried, I cried. And I went to my music teacher. My music teacher actually was very sad. She was very sad. I remember her, Mrs. Mwonga. Wherever she is, I, I love you. So she was, she was convinced that I could do music. So she sat me down and she was like, I do not want to let you go. You are a very good student in music. And she used to guide us so well in music. I used to really love music. And I used to do so well in music. But in agriculture, hi. Yani I had even asked myself, why did I pick this subject in the first place? So when, when, it came to, when it came to subject selection, my parents told me to do agriculture instead of music. Now, from form three, or for, as in form two, third term, it was now downhill. Because now this subject, I used to wonder, why, why do we learn this subject? As in, it's so tough. First of all, you're told, a practical, you're told, mwende kwa shamba. So mnenda kwa shamba mnachomwa na jua unatengeneza seedbed the, the classes are just boring like for me I I never used to enjoy this subject and I think my teacher could see Mr. Kilel wherever you are shout out to you he used to see that this girl does not like this subject but she can do well so he used to make sure I, that I sit in front of the class so I used to sit next to a certain lady her name was Christabel Chemutai Christabel, wherever you are, shout out to you. I love you. I appreciate you. So this lady, she used to do so well in agriculture. It used to be a small class of around seven people. So Christabel, one day I went to her and I told her, Aki, I struggle with this agriculture. It is so boring. It is a subject that I struggle with the most. I do not want to study it. I do not want to read it. I just don't want anything to do with this subject. And I used to tell her, this subject is the subject that I fail the most. I used to fail fail in agriculture the most. I think the highest I used to score in, in agriculture was, I think a B minor. I think a B minor or a C plus. Like those, that's the subject I used to fail. So I asked Christabel, how did you, how do you perform so well in this subject? We are in the same class, the same settings, as in everything is the same. How, how am I not performing well in this subject? So this, this is one thing that Christabel told me you need to change your attitude. Did you catch that? You need to change your attitude. And I was like, ah, Wongo. As in, changing my attitude will help me to improve in a subject. <laughs> that was just for me. It was just absurd. And it was just, 
and I just brushed it off. But later on, I actually realized my attitude had the had the challenge because immediately she she now taught me how to have a good attitude towards subjects, even physics. She sat me down and she told me, when you want to study study for a certain subject, sit down and tell yourself, tell yourself that I am enjoying this subject. Even though you don't enjoy it, just tell yourself, speak life. Tell yourself, I am enjoying this subject. I am enjoying this lesson. I am enjoying whatever I am reading. And then soon enough, as you keep on speaking life into the situation, ha, life now comes into the situation. Um, for me, uh, agriculture and physics were the dry bones. And as Elijah spoke life into the dry bones, they came to life. And so I started speaking life into these subjects. I started being ve very intentional about studying them. So anytime I, t I would get time to go and study, I would go and sit down and just look at a page and I, and I would ask myself, Janet, what are you, like the same way Christabel taught me, Janet, what are you going to learn from this, from this text? So I sit down, I look at this, this, um, this subject, I look at probably the parts of a cow and I ask myself, what do I need to learn about the parts of a cow? I now picture a cow. And I look, it has a head, it has nini, it has this, it has this, it has this. So eventually it became interesting for me. It became very interesting. That I would just sit down, learn the parts, learn even how to make a seedbed. Just, just make, make it interesting for you. Even though it's not interesting, just speak life into it. And that for me was changing my attitude. And also another very important thing that Christabel taught me is to pray. You hear me? In order for you to completely change your attitude towards things in life, you will have to pray. You will have to pray. Hmm? You sit down and you ask God, God, so teach me how to have a positive attitude towards everything that I'm studying, towards everything that I'm learning. And he will answer your prayer. Have faith. Have faith that it is possible and it shall be so. Eventually, I did well in my agriculture and physics. And God, God's name was glorified. Because why it not for God? I would not have done well. So are you there and you're struggling with something in your life? Probably it's your parents and your friends. Probably there are people who have hurt you. Probably there are situations in your life that you feel like I, I invite you today to pray to God so that you can change your attitude towards people, towards subjects, towards church, towards everything. That you would see things in a clearer and better vision. That as a young teen, you are able to live a wholesome life because you've changed your attitude towards everything. Sometimes you may, not ha you may not have a skill for something or you might not have the ability to do something, but just because of your attitude towards it, you change the narrative of your life. So that's me with my story. I said my name is Chiri. And I hope for you one day, you will say your story, you'll speak your story, and you, you'll say that indeed, because I changed my attitude towards this, I was able to gain good results out of it. So as we end, I would like us to just say a short prayer over you who is struggling with something in your life. Probably it's your parent. Probably it's a sibling. Probably it's a subject in school. Probably it's a teacher. Probably it's your dog. You know, the very basic things that we don't really uh, mention can actually affect us. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray for this young team who has listened to me today. I pray for them, O oh God, that may they have a positive outlook on everything in their lives. I speak life upon the dry bones in their life. 
like Elijah, I speak life. I speak life into this teen's life. I speak life into their relationship with their parents. I speak life into the subjects they're taking in school. I speak life into their situation at home. I speak life into their friendships. I speak life into everything that concerns them. That by the name of Jesus Christ, this teen will rise again and they will have a positive outlook on everything in their lives. We give you glory for the change that is about to come into this teenager's life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Bye, guys. Thank you.